Hello, I'm Ruby. Today I'm going to talk about a kind of rhetorical fallacy called anecdotal evidence. Anecdotal evidence can be defined as a testimony that something is true, false, related, or unrelated based on isolated examples of someone's personal experience. However, where only one or a few anecdotes are presented, there is a larger chance that they may be unreliable due to cherry-picked or otherwise non-representative samples of typical cases. There is a big and distinct difference between anecdotal evidence and scientific evidence, or proof based on finding some from a systematic observation, uh, measurement, and experimentation. While scientific evidence can be independently verified using the scientific method, anecdotal evidence cannot. Anecdotal evidence is often offered when there is an absence of scientific evidence or in an effort to refuse scientific evidence. So uh, the following are some examples that can um, better elaborate uh, anecdotal evidence. Uh, for example number one, it's from a study forum. Um, a commercial for a weight loss supplement might show before and after to pictures of individuals who took the supplement and subsequently lost weight. These commercials are emotionally driven and only use the personal experiences of the individuals to have, who have had extreme success with the supplement. The commercials are implying that what works for someone will work for everyone. However, if you look very closely at a fine print, you will see a disclaimer that states results are not typical and will vary from individual to individual. It would be reasonable to question whether it was um, the supplement that caused the weight loss or if there were other factors. Luckily, this is a research question easily tested using the scientific methods. Scientific evidence might show that weight loss Peel is indeed effective in most or even all cases. Or it might show that other factors like water intake, uh, the amount of exercise undertaken by the consumer or changes in diets had a larger influence on a participant's weight loss results. For the next example, it's from uh, Wikipedia. Um, is tells us that there is abundant proof that water, uh, drinking water cures cancer. Just last week, um, I read about a girl who was dying of cancer after drinking water. She was cured. Like this example, anecdotes, anecdotal evidence like this do not prove anything. In any case, where some factor affects the probability of an outcome rather than uniquely determine it. Um, selected in visual cases prove nothing, absolutely nothing. My grandfather smoked 40 a day until he died at 90. This is an example of um, anecdotal evidence and or my sister never went near anyone who smoked but died of cancer. Uh, anecdotes often refer to the exception rather than the rule. Anecdotes are useless precisely because they may point to idiosyncratic responses. For the last example, it's from my personal, personal experience. It's um, from my senior high school. My senior high school friend once told me that she had been only eating little soup or sometimes even nothing for lunch for a while. So I replied that it was really likely to hurt uh, her stomach and body if you keep e eating on regularly. It was definitely unhealthy. Many statistics and studies had long ago pointed out the facts. But she thought that those studies must be wrong because she never had any problem with her stomach or health. She even told me that um, not to believe them, just because she doesn't go along with the research results 
she doesn't believe them. This again shows that people often use anecdotal evidence to try to prove themselves right and studies wrong. We all know um, it's inappropriate to do so, but I think sometimes it's really possible that we might do these kind of things um, unconsciously. So to conclude, um, using anecdotal evidence to prove something right or wrong is definitely not enough. And it can often lead to an incorrect result. What we should do is to learn to take everything possible into account and analyze them. We should also learn to identify whether an argument is based on such evidence. Only in that way can we all get closer to the truth. So this is my video about um, anecdotal evidence. Thank you for watching.